Well, severe weather is slamming the south. Our Mark Strassman is in Ellabelle, Georgia, just south of, or rather just west of Savannah is where you are. Mark, good morning. What are you seeing there? Well, Emory, uh, good morning to you. It it's kind of a mess, frankly, from what we can tell. I mean, up and down this road, for instance, you can see these uh, sheer trees and there's some down power lines, too. This, this particular tornado doesn't seem to have been all that wide. I mean, I can see standing trees about 100 yards uh, over in that direction from where I'm standing. But, but look, this, this is not good. And apparently the community of Ellabelle, population about 7,500, is really not in good shape. We'd like to show you more of it. The local deputies here are keeping everybody out. They want to keep the looters out. So at this point, they've just got a blanket policy. Nobody's going in. But we did have a conversation with one deputy who's spent some time there overnight and, and says that, look, it's not in good shape. Multiple homes there have been pancaked. There are a lot of people who are in for some, uh, for, not only for a rebuild, but uh, for some true uh, heartbreak uh, as well. And speaking of heartbreak, uh, at least uh, one uh, known fat storm fatality here in Bryan County, Georgia. But there are also at least a dozen people injured. There were reports of people trapped inside their homes. We're going to try to sort all that out uh, today. And now that it's first light, assuming we get the chance to get in there, we, we should have a better sense, Anne Marie, of just like what was the scope of this thing? What is the scale of this thing? How much of a rebuild do people uh, face uh, in the in the weeks and months ahead? But clearly, this was a catastrophic event for a number of people. And, and again, the, 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 the thing to keep an eye on today is more storms potentially in the forecast. And so people who are just recovering from the trauma of yesterday are also bracing themselves for more trauma later today. Yeah, it's been, a rough, it's been a rough few weeks for the entire region down there. Um, Mark, thank you very much.